Hello there and welcome back to Living on an Island. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about what it's like to live on the island of Guernsey which is located in the English Channel between the United Kingdom and France. We're about 25 square miles in size and about 12 miles long so we're pretty unique. So if you want to know what it's like to live on a very unique little island from a local person like me, remember to subscribe. In today's video, okay, we are on a lovely beach, quite a stony beach. It's down the west coast of Guernsey. And I'm gonna be showing you some beautiful features around here. We've got a lovely beach called Varzon Beach over there, which I'm gonna be showing you later on in the video. Uh, just in front of me here, we have some German fortifications built in the Second World War by the Germans because they occupied Guernsey during the Second World War and they built all these German fortifications. So there's a big one right here I'm gonna show you in a moment. Um, some of them are starting to collapse a bit actually, but if you like the stuff on this channel, remember to subscribe. Let's get going. So I'm actually stood on the sort of the platform of the German bunker. Um, it's quite sturdy here, and just behind me there you can see that's probably been covered up. But I assume there'd have been like a a gun, big gun shooting out of there over to the sea. Um, it's still pretty sturdy, although there's a bit just down there. If I show you just onto my there, you can see it started to collapse a bit. But um, apart from that, they're holding up, but bits and pieces starting to crumble. I say these were all built in the Second World War when the island was occupied by the German forces and these um, bunkers and there's loads of these bunkers all around the coast of the island and because it was pretty f heavily fortified in case uh, we tried and take it back obviously but I'm going to continue because there's a few more around there and there's a really nice beach so keep watching. Thank you. 
So what I've done, I've walked up uh, just up the beach from the last bunker I was at up here and you can see I've done some really nice shots so far. There's another bunker here. It's actually uh, it was like a fortress before but I think the uh, in the occupation the Germans converted like part of the fortress and built their bunkers as part of it so it integrated it into the original fortress that was here. So I'm going to go up there now and show you some great, this one looks a really big one actually so I'm going to go up and have a look.
I must admit, this place is like really big. I didn't think it was this big. Uh, so as you can see, there's quite a lot of German bonkers built within this fortress here. Uh, it looks pretty solid, really good views as well. Uh, so as I said, this is the north end of the island. Uh, it's actually really nice today. So this is October and the sun's out. We're having a really nice bit of weather. But uh, I hope you're enjoying the video. There's some bit more stuff as we go round. Uh, and I hope you saw some of the corroded um, bunkers as well. There's some corroding quite a bit. Did some shots just now. Uh, but they are still sort of okay. And some of these you can actually go in. They do um, visiting days where certain times of the day they open up. You can go in and look inside them, which is really great. So if you like the sort of stuff, I'm going to um, go on one of those visiting days at some point and I'll film inside the bunkers if you're interested. Uh, I'm quite interested in stuff like that. It's all part of the Guernsey history. Uh, so. It's great to see as a local what went on years ago. Hope you enjoyed the video click the screen to watch the next video and don't forget to subscribe see you next time